Ooh, got my lunch packed. It's looking a little weak, but anyway. Here you go. See you later. Be there next time. You see that? Nice and frosty out this morning. We'll give you a little snippet of a little farm tour here, quick. This is our main truck storage shed. We can store four trucks in here. It's 54 wide by 90 long. These doors are 24 by 12. If you do have TikTok, you should go check out back in, uh, oh, last winter, this shed was full of junk. It was so full that we could only get three trucks and on this side, you were walking over stuff, and on the front side, there was just so much junk. So last winter, we got it all cleaned out, and it's like it's pretty spotless now. There's a few things in there, but that whole side over there, full of junk. So go on TikTok if you can, and check that out. We've had thoughts of converting this into a shop. We still might someday, but not right now. The shop we got does just, just fine for uh, working on trucks and stuff. With the new building, hopefully going up next year over there where the old bin site was we're thinking we might want to convert that one into more of a shop someday so we'll see what happens this is our shop here it's roughly uh, 20 wide here and 88 long in this part and then this big square part I believe is roughly 50 by 50 this door is a 30 foot wide door and I believe it's 16 tall so in this shop, we do a lot of small projects and we do all the truck maintenance and repairs right here. My uncle has a 40 by 80 shop over at his place. You've seen that in a video a while back. They do all the <clears throat> tractor service repairs and they work on all the planters over there and all that fun stuff. It's nice to keep the tractors and the trucks separated. That way we can have all the truck parts here and all the tractor parts over at his place. That way nothing's ever on top of each other and we know where we can find stuff if we need it. All right, that's enough talk. Let's go catch some combines. Well, we got ourselves a good frosty morning here in central Iowa. It's cold, but it's not freezing cold yet. Obviously it's freezing because it's frost. I'm I'm just tripping over myself all kinds of sorts here. Had a little battle with the 9420T yesterday. It was throwing a code for some plug fuel filters the night before. Pulling some hills that never lugged down. So I was like, ow. I had this issue like two, three years ago. There's a the plug fuel filter sensor was bad. So I get in this thing last night, send some hired help home, and the thing is just you know, it's just dogging. Turn the PTO on and it's just dog in no more than i turn the gate on to run the bottom auger and get grain moving just comes to a screeching halt just i was like oh no you have grain in the bottom auger you're either gonna break a shear pin or remove the bottom gate to get the corn out because you can't start it under load it's only like seven o'clock at night but i'm like you know it's getting cold and i was like well when it rains of course this is how it goes so i ran home quick got a fuel filter put them on Got all nice and fuely, even though you shower, you still still smell on your fingertips. Knew we were gonna need ether, just sitting there, just pumping that hand primer, priming that thing like a banshee. 
and you know it wants to go and then you're like oh nope and then sure enough we cranked it long enough the battery's getting tired so luckily we have a set of jumper cables in the uh in dad's pickup finish my story we got her primed up we gave her the juice and the ether we got her to go so we turned your unload auger on the corn was coming out good and then we turned the bottom one on and everything was okay so we kind of lucked out so here dad is getting his little 12 volt pump set up we gotta run it off the combine definitely gonna get a gas powered pump for this this year we're, we've been saying this for like two years it just takes way too long you ever feel like you're in the lion's den? Here we go. Right there. Oh yeah. Let's see what everybody's talking about. This three seconds of fun. <laughs> Doesn't work when it's frosty out and tarp is stiff. Three seconds of fun, Mike. Now if anybody's wondering, this was a really frosty morning Bobcat on Saturday morning at 7.30. Gonna get a load off the 8.40. She comes first to the field and she's last to leave the field. Always prowling. One thing we really should invest in is more paper towels. You go through so many paper towels every morning. I try to reuse the dirty ones. And then when the window gets a little cleaner, I'll wash a little more of it. My gosh, I should have stock in blue paper towels. This is where it all happens. This is the sieve and the chaffer back in here. This is where all the grain gets separated from the trash. You got this little door to look in there. It's kind of cute. Right after I started, uh, I was like, I should have done a cold start of the 9870. So we'll do one of the 8520 here. See what she can do. That was trash, kid. Should have done the 9870. It was way better. Good 4430, 4840, 4451. That would be good. Black smoke rolling out. Bucky's just about finished up in this field. Dad finished over there a few miles, and now we just got moved down the road. We got 200 acres there, roughly, and then another 150 just north of there a little bit. Moving right along, about two more days, we'll have her done. both combines moving in this 200 acre farm I think we're supposed to get quite a bit of rain tomorrow so we might not pick anything tomorrow hopefully we can pick up back Monday or Tuesday to get this thing finished from there one to go let's go this will be the first time this season the 8 row and the 12 row will be working the same field on corn so I will be certain to get some really cool drone shots once we get rolling good in this field. Also, on a side note, Iowa State beat Oklahoma State today. Let's go. One. Here comes the grain train. 7800s beast mode. Doesn't sound very good. Well, getting everything put away for the night. It's supposed to rain pretty heavy tomorrow. Ah, it's dark. There we go. We like to park stuff on the gravel when we think we're gonna get rain. 
That way we don't muck up the field. Man, what a bunch of troopers. Got the 7800 out there, cleaning up all the mess from the dryer. Take good care of the place. Looks like this one's about four rings from being full. And the first bin, about three rings from being totally full. Well, we got about two and a half inches of rain yesterday. So let's give us a good opportunity to put the bean head away. We usually put it in the shed up there, but we're gonna try putting it in this barn. It's gonna be tight. We got her sneaked in here, inches away. It just sneaked over this rotary hoe, which might be for sale. So if you need a rotary hoe, there you go. Plenty of room. We're hoping we can get the row crop head in there and potentially a draper next to it whenever we get that. They just can't wait to get something to drink. 5520 pump in from the 300 gallon tank on the service truck. Got the 9420T going cables hooked up to the battery terminal and starter pumping out of the mander creek lander buck don't worry you'll get your turn be patient of the year that's the beauty of an eight row you just rode it pull in the driveway start picking well ladies and gentlemen we just finished up our second to last field about 200 acres just now getting moved to our last field of the year 160 acres nice square field we're gonna run probably fairly late tonight there's a chance of rain tomorrow today is tuesday the 26th of october if we get started early in the morning and maybe by slim chance we can get this field knocked out tomorrow that would be very awesome 
and just get her done. We are in the home stretch. Things have been going well. A few breakdowns like you saw in that last video. Other than that, we're, we're getting along great. New bin site's been amazing, keeping us rolling, just absolutely shredding daily records. I mean, it's insane. Right now, Bucky's opening the field up. Bennett got the first cart here. Glenn and Devin just brought the other two carts. Badger's gonna be coming in the combine shortly. Goal for tonight is to get all the end rows off, maybe get some breakthroughs done, and we'll see what time it is, and we'll catch back tomorrow.